Does climate change pose a cultural threat? Uh, climate change has a lot of impacts, not only in what we think in regular life, but also it's putting in danger some uh, world heritage sites, uh, basically through water, because even in these uh, sites uh, there is need to protect them. There are some sites that, that uh, because of uh, extreme rain, rain events, they can be uh, damaged, but also the community living next to these uh, uh, sites, need, needs water, needs uh, proper weather to live around these areas and to be maintaining them. When we're thinking about confronting the impacts of climate change, how high a priority would you like to see on protecting cultural sites and cultural heritage? Well, I, th I would like to see them ranked as with the same priority as any other of the impacts. And I think in that respect, UNESCO is very well positioned because we have a very broad perspective. We are not only taking care of uh, impacts on natural uh, science or from the social science perspective, but we are also considering the impacts on indigenous people, world heritage uh, sites, bioreserves, which is also something very common. But you need to see them holistic. It's not a matter to see one aspect by one institution and one aspect by other institutions. You need to see them holistic because that's the way in which uh, climate change is expressing itself. And do you think that politicians are succeeding in taking this holistic view of tackling climate change? I think they have a more holistic view normally than technical people. But the failure is that technical people provide only partial points of view. So policymakers do not manage to have this broader point of view because they, they are not provided with it, with it. So this is something that UNESCO can do. Uh, it's part of our job to link all these areas to provide a broader point of view to politicians. The Green Climate Fund is more or less ready to receive funds now. Would you like to see some of these funds go towards protecting cultural sites at risk of climate change? No doubt, and I think uh, this is something that is uh, critical, not very uh, seen in detail, because normally people put more emphasis on other type of impacts and even on producing uh, business. But we also need to take into, into consideration these uh, cultural areas. Uh, uh, historical sites. As I hope there will be a component of that. As someone working in this area, do you find it hard to make the case for protecting historical and cultural sites compared to say agriculture and reefs where it has a real impact on people's lives and livelihoods on a day-to-day -day basis? It is hard, certainly it is hard. Uh, to give you an example, now that we are talking about the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, there people have a think or there is a long list of uh, possible candidates for these goals and very few countries are advocating to have uh, SDG goals on culture.